Hey guys, how are you going? Steve Innes again this morning. Now, you know, I'm a kind of, well, I'm a pretty fortunate guy. I've got an Apple Watch, and, you know, and I really like it. The Apple Watches are fantastic, you know, you can tell the time and see your heartbeat and, and all that. And um, I sort of figured that um, a, a really good way, I, I bought the Bluetooth thing, which I've done the demonstration on for the, for the hose and all that sort of stuff. And uh, I watched a video on Peter Parfit just, uh, well, just yesterday, as a matter of fact. And Peter, um, he, he, he had a good idea about, um, about whether the uh, remote control can go on to you. So it goes onto your hose here, like that, and you can trigger it and things like that. And, um, and then I thought to myself, well, I've got a, a really good Apple Watch a really good Apple Watch, and um, I sort of thought to myself, well, Peter Parfit had a little bit of an idea there, which I thought was pretty good, and he kind of thought, well, he just jokingly said, you could use it, say, like a watch. Oh, oh, I've got a Bluetooth watch. i got a Bluetooth watch to start my... So that came started. The vacuum stopped. So I've got an Apple Watch and I got a Festool watch. <laughs> so I couldn't help myself to pimp it. Now I've got to do a little bit of fine adjustment with the idea, but I'm going to bring it down and show you guys. Now, talk about me. I'm always pimping something. Now, it's not 100%, but I'm going to fix it up. But it's damn close. Now, what you do is if you go and buy yourself an Apple watch band, available from the Apple stores in different colors. I don't know whether they've got the lime green. If you've got lime green, I'm gonna buy a lime green one. And I didn't even do anything to the, to the, the Apple straps because they're quite expensive anyway. But what I did was this is the 27 millimeter hose. Now, and, they, and it came with a 27 millimeter hose clip to be able to clip the Bluetooth on. And it came with a 36 millimeter bit. Well, I don't use a 36 millimeter hose. Well, I do use a hose, but I, I, don't use, I don't use the hose at the end of it all. So, I thought to myself, well, it, it clips really good. And I'll show you it close. It clips really good on these little things and it pulls around tension. Now, what if I was to cut a little slit here and another one here, and I'll take this off. And all I did was, and I'll bring this camera down because it keeps falling back the other way. All I did was cut a slit like this this just pops out. This just pops out like that. All I did was cut it in half. Now you can see here where I've cut it. So I came back a centimetre from the edge and run a slit. But I didn't run a slit. I'll go right up to the camp. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> just had breakfast and it was a bit, uh, a bit throaty. <clears throat> ah. Up here, I stopped the cut where this reinforced bit on the edge is. So it'll stay, re it'll stay still really strong. And lo and behold, <clears throat> the, um, the Apple Watch just happens to fit pretty much. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me, guys. A little bit of breakfast caught in the back of my throat. That's very irritating when that happens, isn't it? But the Apple Watch seems to fit really beautifully between the two ridges. So I cut one piece out and I cut, whoopsie. So I cut the 36 one in half. I cut the Festool bit. <laughs> See it says Festool in the middle? I cut that out and threw it away. <laughs> Festool, Festool, Schmestool. Uh, <laughs> so I cut that out, right? So simple. Cut it in half, cut out the thing, come back a centimetre from the end, 
and then just cut a slit. Not right through to the side, not through to the side, just in that center section. Get your Apple Watch band. Slide it through, slide it through the slit. So it comes out the front, pull it down like so. You've got a little bit of extra, little bit of extra comfort there. There's no point to have to cut that off. I mean, I think that's kind of adds to it. Then that just clip, whoops. That just clips over like it does. Like in the, the um, uh, you know, when you pull it under tension. However, it, it does need to be pulled under tension to kind of keep it secure. So I'm gonna figure out a way to make it a bit more secure um, as such. But look, I, I, I put it on, it's okay. It's uh, pretty good. Um, I'll slip the other part in. That's the old one. Um, I'll slip the other one through. This one's a little bit thicker. I reckon they've probably got lime green. I don't know, I'll have to go and check it out. Um, there we go, that just pops through there, because it's, it's all rubber, it's pretty easy. Um, of course, <laughs> I did it back the front. <laughs> well, you know, I just did it before, I got this idea, and, and, and I thought, you know, it just sort of worked. And I just, it's like a little bit of improvement, and, and it'll work better. But it'll be handy just to have it on my wrist, so that I can turn the vac on, just get a, it's a little bit, got a little stud on the, the watch band. That's better. And so it pulls that over like that, see? So that sits nice and that just slips through the back. And then, so you're not even really wrecking the, the, the Apple watch band, which means you can still use it on your Apple watch if you wanted to. But I've already got one, <laughs> a watch and a band. <laughs> and it just pops on, it just pops on there, slip around. Slip it around like so, and pop it on your arm, whoops, pop it on your arm, just like you would a normal watch. Whoops, always a bit, a bit always a bit hard to put on these Apple watches at times. They're kind of, there we go. There we slip it in there, that's it. Now it's on. Yeah, there you go, easy peasy. Turn on the boom. It's almost, a, it's almost a fashion statement. So I'd like to thank Peter Parfit for his wonderful idea of making a wristwatch. Uh, he, um, so I can, I can talk to Dick Tracy on this one. Hello, Dick. <laughs> and this one I can go, hey, vacuum. Okay, how cool is that? Man, oh man, look, it was just meant for it. It even looks cool. I'm going to see if I can get a green, a green one. Although the black looks really good, you know. Um, I, it, it, I must admit, it has a little tendency, because it's kind of kind of going like that, it's having a bit of a tendency, tendency to want to pop out of the, that, little side, that little side ridge. But I'll come up with something. I'm sure I will. I'll come something to sort of lock that in a little bit better. But anyway... There's my pimping. Ah, isn't it lovely? Pimping, hacking, whatever you got. These things have hardly even come out and I've already turned it into something else. Okay, well, I hope to see everyone getting around with it. You better tell the Festulians. They'll be the ones that'll have the little Bluetooth buttons setting off uh, vacuum cleaners everywhere around the world. <laughs> see you guys.